Yo, we're back. It's the 19th now. <sighs> I took a nap. You did. I had to make a phone call. I did it stupid. It's okay. Yeah, we all make mistakes. But mostly me. Uh, anyway, it's the uh, 19th at 9.42 a.m. We're in the district court. Defendant lobby number uno. See, it's not my birthday anymore, so they have us meet in the defendant lobby. Oh, yeah? Instead of the courtroom. Yeah, that was a gift to you. You just got to go straight into a trial. Yeah. You okay, Will? Um, uh, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh. Oh, nothing. <laughs> you haven't been bullied by a ten-year-old. <laughs> you ever had a ten-year-old just really rip into you? Middle schoolers are the meanest kids on e in the are the meanest people in the world. They will insult you, but in an accurate way. Uh huh. They will find your weak. They will find the thing that you're most insecure about. And they will... Look at that high-waisted man. He has feminine hips. No, that's the thing I'm sensitive about. about. Really, it's nothing. Right. Oh. Right, Mia? Uh-oh. She looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. <laughs> this is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. <laughs> something overlooked. You wanna go through the evidence real quick before we start the trial? Mm -hmm. We yeah. have to find something, Phoenix, today. All right. Uh, time of death, 2.30. Pierce through the chest with a spear. He's dragging one leg. It's photo number two. Taking at 2 p.m. Uh-huh. Day of the murder. That kid. He's in the trees. Uh huh. Watch him go by. Guide map. Globe Studios. See exactly where everything is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. I'm telling you, if the kid was hiding in the trees, the other people could have been hiding in the trees. I, uh, think, I think it's the idea that they're very close together, so only someone very small can fit through them. I guess. Uh, breaking the shaft has been better with duct tape. Got it. <sighs> These freaking sleeping pills! Uh, Phoenix I is guarantee sick. you someone drugged What's-His-Face so that they wouldn't know that they came into his room, and that's how they knew that he would be asleep. Well, so they could get the costume. Phoenix's secret weapon, chloroform. <laughs> <laughs> if the witness then, can't talk, they can't... Mr. Monkey's big fat head... And the tree that came down with him blocked the scene of the crime between 2.15 and 4, unless you were a small child and could Please look stop trying to indict this child. Oh, that wasn't me indicting the child there. That was just me saying, unless you're a small child, then you would be able okay. to see it because he did. But you, you know what? Still, small child. Thank you for reminding me. Small <laughs> this, child. This is concerning. The quote-unquote path to glory, which contains photos of every victory scene and every battle the Steel Samurai has ever won. I'm going to say he has a picture of the Steel Samurai winning this time, and it's going to show that it wasn't Will. Did that or lose the trial? Right. You're here. Hello? A button? Jesus. This isn't going to be easy. I wonder if the mic is picking up the million times that I'm hitting A when it's not registered. It's definitely picking up when you're being super loud, because I can hear the headphones from here. Yeah. October 19th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Oh, man, we're not in courtroom number one anymore. No, we're lucky courtroom. The court is not in session for a trial, Mr. Wood Powers. I forgot that I talk. <laughs> I forgot that I'm running this thing. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. No, we're not. Phoenix, don't lie. We are nowhere near ready. We are Very up Shirt Creek without a paddle. Just a creek made out of cloth. Very well, Mr. Edward, your opening statement, please. Please! Unexpected factors come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Correct. Yes. They would like to show evidence proving that they had nothing to do with the murder. Oh, you, this, dude, the ice is melted. You should not drink this. It's It's been just sitting out for an hour. Oh, the ice isn't melted. It's mostly melted. Hear that, guys? Ice. Very well. 
a skin field draw. I mean, probably the first up here. witness Miss Dodge War. That's true. I wonder if it'll be that for two, sir. Prosecution costs. Oh no! Mm. Oh, Jesus, help us all. He was like, I'll oh, help. Doesn't mean that I get the soda. I love how even Phoenix was like, can can we call the producer instead? Can producer, call please. Can producer? Call, can we call D Vasquez? Yeah. Mm. Will the witness say his name and profession? Will the witness please fuck off? How rude you can get. You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai. Noob. Raffle. Only reminder, I do not. Only reminder, I don't play World of Warcraft. I have no intention to ever. Salmonella, I'm a director of television. <laughs> Frickin's Edgeworth put the fear of God in him. Mm -hmm. Well, you are Global Studios on the day of the murder. No! Y yes, I mean, Your yes. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the core about the events that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. Rip it to shreds. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Quick, flash the judge. It'll give us time. Uh-huh. No, flash the witness. Maybe he'll leave. He's just looking at Mia. Get, sir? Tits. Sir? Tits. I'm uncomfortable. Is I was at the studio around mine that morning. Early in the morning, I was doing um, an action scene right there. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. It's talking normally, this is weird. I hear that everyone else ain't lunch in the employee area. I had a meeting at the Surrey Tour Trail, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During that meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. I wonder if he knows about the head and when it fell. Seems like he has though. It seems that way. According to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you might begin your cross-examination. Hell yeah. Time to press the left bumper button over and over and over again. Get whatever uh, testimony you can out of this guy. Mm-hmm. Is that what when you always come is that when you always come to work? Nineteen eighty four, huh? Yeah, this game takes place in like uh this game apparently takes place in like twenty fifteen. Last known status. Alive as of March twelfth, twenty nineteen. Why are you reading this? I'm trying to uh look at the Because I was trying... because it just caught my eye that it was nineteen eighty four. I was like, how huh, old? I was well now I'm going to close this because I was reading someone else's wiki so I can learn more about him. Is that when you always come to work? Oh, oh no. I come in all, in all sorts of hours. It's the industry, right? No, no it's not. Usually industry, usually stuff like this has call times. Yeah, but when you're the director, you get to kind of make the call times, usually. That's, no, usually, uh, usually the producer's in charge of the call times, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Maybe old lady McGee likes to get like 15 extra smokes in before she comes in sometimes. That's true, but still, still, for for for. W -W? What the hell is that? For winning, I was I was pretty busy all that day. I have no idea. Wiki Chinari, internal slam, for what it's worth. Oh, still, for what it's worth, I was pretty busy that all that day. Sad face! Imagine someone in court saying sad face. Dude, I couldn't imagine this man in court at all. Tell us more about that. During the morning, I was... Doing him and actually doing thing. I'm not gonna do his voice anymore. It hurts my throat. In the employee area? I'm gonna give him a different voice. That's right. It was a fight scene between Steel Sam. That's a voice. No. I'm just, just gonna keep going. Just hold oh. your. Just hold your nose. There was the fight scene between Steel Sam and the evil Magistrate. This is perfect. That's all you had to do this whole time. SpongeBob. Was anyone, up, was anyone else at the run through? Oh, yeah. That security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. LOL. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. We can believe she it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a lot more than I thought it would. 
I did go on so long. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you've already heard about this. WP twists his ankle during the run through, see? See? Alright, that's the limp. Which, of course, that means I'm missing my lunch. What? What? Oh, I know what it is. What? Uh, Phoenix is playing. Uh, what? Broths? Rolling on the floor, like, starving? I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the clear. What well, exactly did they have for lunch? Table and steak. Consistent curtains. Please don't do that in a court of law, sir. I'm pretty sure that would get you, that alone should get held in contempt of court. I don't think that there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. And a plate with not some in everyone, everyone else. Everyone else mean that the witness did not eat with them. What is with my controller? Did you break my controller? No. It's been doing this forever. It hasn't been doing it for me, you know, but I you. I had a meeting on Studio York 2 trial, so I ended up skipping lunch. I like how there's a couple of voices I just give up on, so, uh, so they get changed. So in the end, you didn't go to eat. I think Phoenix is my favorite voice just because it's the one I don't do anything for. Yeah, no steak, at least. Can you believe it? And that must have been tough. Uh, not like the steak, though. The steak was buttery soft. Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix just keeps taunting with the steak. He actually puts the steak on the table. Tell the truth, it's yours. <laughs> Do you want this delicious, me but, medium butter rare? basted, medium rare steak? And he's like, no, for that bottle of A1. Maybe. <laughs> you ever I, I was gonna say Mushu steak, but that's not what it is. You ever? I, I used to have. There was this place in Albuquerque I went to once. Super expensive. It was. Uh, I was treated to eat there once, and uh, the steak was so well cooked, like well seasoned. I didn't even need steak sauce, which is that good. My uncle, soft. my uncle used to cook steak that was that good. Like he would season it so well that I didn't need steak sauce, and it is the only steak that I have not ever needed steak sauce for. Yeah, it was dude, so good. the best steak. Dude, those are the best steaks. I'm salivating a bit. Yeah. Doesn't, Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? It's contradictory to what we see. Yeah, it does seem odd. Not to mention it. Mr. Manala. Um, what did you want, Sweats? When I went to see you two, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates you, as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Uh, oh god. No, er, I, er, it, heh, good call. I, er, I was embarrassed so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Your Honor, I would like to have this man ejected from court on pe on sheer principle. Mm -hmm. Sustained. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the system went through all that trouble. He brought it to the shop, like he could eat it light up. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I had suspected as much. So when, when exactly did you eat? We took one break during that meeting. I uh, wolfed it down then. Bone and all. Yeah, he, he, he actually just shoved the whole thing in his mouth. Yeah. With the part of why Vasquez likes him. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. All of us will. Wait a second. They took a break in that meeting. That contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. We're on a meeting on total on four. I think the next phrase is when... I don't know, I'm pretty sure no one what that shows. Yeah. You didn't take a single break? Er, well, yeah, not one. Sweats. <laughs> What's he sweating so much about? You I just wonder. said that. If only I hadn't. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. I don't want to press this man harder. I don't want to touch him. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, oops. You've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T bone steak during a break? Doing? So I'm messing the mic. Oops. Well. Um. Mr. Manella, what's this about? Uh, well, yeah, I guess I did take a little. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. 
Your Honor. What are you looking at? Oh, uh, what? I, I think my phone broke. Phone? Ah. Okay, whoops. I just wanted to see what Mom said. Okay. I, ca I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Ah, oh, my heels hurt. Very well. Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. Ugh. What's that one voice you always do? The It's your Joan voice. What's up, bitches? <laughs> That's the voice I'm doing. <laughs> uh oh. Edgeworth is laughing. Never forget this time. It's so sweet. For, for what it's worth, we took a break. Oh, oh. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12. Why do you know that? That seems like such a random fact to know. Then again, I, also... I imagine that he doesn't say for what it's worth. He says, For you. For you. For you. Keep going. I'm actually looking at base 12. What the hell is this? Numbers. This is kanji. Each and each song. Oh, it is. These are. Oh, are these different numbers in different languages? I completely forgot numerous. everything past three, which sucks because I had finally learned that and then I slacked on Japanese lessons. All right, you can keep going. <laughs> I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin the cross examination. The break. Okay, Good, am, that's what I wanted to know. I am not going to explain in depth what base 12 is because it's hurting my brain. <laughs> what time exactly do you take this break? Hmm. I saw it was from around 2 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One and killed him and come back. I guess it's possible time wise. Edgeworth's like. Don't you fucking think about it. But I was only 15 minutes. 15 of 13 in base 12. What are you doing for those 15 minutes? Do we really need to go over this again? You my two bone steak. What else? There were two plates on the table. Oh, right. The other one was Diva. Oh, sorry. D. Vasquez's plate. Wow. What a great weight. I remember, she uses him as a stool. I don't want to know what she's going to do to him for that comment. Kill him. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Do not remind me, Edward. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is that? Objection. Haven't we heard enough of this pointless line of questioning? Edgeworth, please. I enjoy clicking the left bumper. Please let me have this. Your Honor, testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. People in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It is impossible for any of them to go to <sighs> Studio One. Sorry, Wright is boring me with his pointless questions. Wh what? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Oh, uh, that's what we're suggesting, yeah. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I mean... So, 2.30. The break was from 2.30 to 2.45, so I don't... Here's my thing. I don't know how on earth you would kill someone at the very start of a break. Because it would take you at least two minutes to get to the thing. It would take... Two, so, on this time scale, it would take two minutes to get there. Who knows how long to kill Hammer. And then two minutes to get back. Yeah. And that's not considering the fact that you'd also have to ditch all the clothes. And which, to be fair, thrown in the incinerator. 
Not to mention, the pa path was blocked off, so it would take even longer. Yeah. I don't think they could. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects. I can't keep playing the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in Trio to go to stu the studio in that time. Ha <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. Doesn't mean that they could have done it beforehand. People get the time of death wrong all the time. I'm Not in this game. The, the, time, the time of death is correct. Oh, okay. But, I am playing with the dog's tail. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. By the fallen Mrs. Monkeyhead, barred the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. I really don't believe a gust of wind could do that. I mean, it looks very thin. Like, that giant head on that small surface. I guess, but Jesus. Also, would it, also uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some other factors came into play. Mm-hmm. When the people on the trailer took a break at two, when the people at the trailer took a break at two thirty, the way to the studio was blocked, blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's Mr. Monkey. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. Fun fact: Remember what I said in Japan it's the it's called the forced imp. Uh huh. In the subs, he calls it the forced blimp. <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. I just I just want to. I just love giving you these little tidbits. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. Wait! What? It's over? Do you really want to keep this man on the stand? No, but I just figured he was going to do a wait. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We found that there are several other people in, the studio two, in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Can we interview the producer anymore? Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. Do y'all not have fingerprint testing? He was wearing, The Steel Samurai suit had gloves on it, and also they didn't find it. Remember, the suit The suit wasn't found. They covered that in the last... yesterday. Mm-hmm. If we, if we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. So there would be no prints on the spear, for starters. Not to mention it's Powers' weapon. He has to use it generally, so of course his prints would be on it. There's no yeah, but the idea would be that someone else's prints would be on it because they grabbed it before they got in the costume on accident because they're stupid. Well, I imagine several people. It goes, yeah, I imagine there would be lots of unidentified uh, prints on considering a props department would have to handle it, too. Yeah. The it'd be... What would be even more interesting is if they tested it and there were no fingerprints. Because then it'd be like, well, someone clearly wiped this down, and why would Powers need to do that? If, That's like... true. The prosecution is pleased to denounce that we indeed have a decisive of evidence of witness. Hey, kid. I missed you. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? A seven-year-old. My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. Yeah, took a picture of it. God, that would be traumatizing for a child. Though I guess he just thought it was part of the show. Mm -hmm. Order! I will have order! I see. That court will take a 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. It reminds me of a legal story where there was that kid who, uh, his grandmother let him play GTA, and then, uh, after, and, like, he was playing GTA on the PS3, and he was, like, four years old, and then, uh, he shot his grandmother. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, and it was like a major instance of people saying like video games cause violence, but in reality it was just a four-year-old who should not have that game of playing that game. Yeah, and also they shouldn't have had access to the gun. Like there was so the fact that they like, did that is clearly there was several factors that played yeah. into that. Anyway. And also, if you're gonna kill someone, even when you're that young, it the inklings are already there. Court is adjourned for recess. October 19th, 11.04 a.m. Wow, that oh. took four minutes. Oh, also, I mean, it wasn't that big of a testimony. Oh, wait, maybe it was an hour and four minutes. Maybe it was yeah, 10 a.m.? Yeah, court always starts at 10. Oh, okay, an hour and four minutes then. Uh, another thing was, um, something I wanted to say was, uh, 
apparently in the state he was in, there was a law that because he was so young, he wasn't allowed to be prosecuted. Huh. Which was interesting. I think it was Kentucky. That sounds right. Okay, let's keep going. Just, dot, dot, dot. Just more legal stories that we go into. We go into a lot of legal stories here. Mm -hmm. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what do I have? What is up with my controller? I don't know. Maybe it's because I can't reach the Xbox exactly because I'm holding it like this. I have maybe. no idea. I never had this problem. I hold it really all the time. Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... What's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. I guarantee you it. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. Uh, you... Thanks. Aww. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. For the kids. Hashtag for the kids. Hashtag for the kids. Where's Michael and Gavin? Let's do it! You have to hit them with moon balls to prove his uh, innocence. Uh, that is 11 minutes later. What an unprofessional judge. Yeah, that's actually a good point. He, had to, he, he barely finished eating his burrito. Chorus barking. Session for the trial, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. Understandable. As our witness is a grade schooler of 10 years, and this is a murder case, it will its defense might cause... Unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. As yet, we're taking the moral high grounds. However, we have no choice. The prosecute he's not even looking at that paper. His eyes are in the same place as before. Mm -hmm. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Shouldn't this have been arranged beforehand? You okay? Yep. Were you just trying were you trying to come up with the joke for it? No, oh, I was just I right. was doing this. Oh pfft. why? Because that's how he was holding the paper. Oh. We both know Edgeworth doesn't do that. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Hell yeah, donuts. Hey! Hi, baby! How's your face? How you doing? Will the witness state his name in grading school? I guess that's how they ask when you're, uh, when they're talking to a kid. Witness. What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Oh, the kid shot him. Told you. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you! The nice lady! I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I got the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <clears throat> Witness? Er, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with his this gentle thing. Edgeworth is used to punch Edgeworth is used to punching people with his questions. It's yeah. Very, it's very hard to give him a gentle tap. He's used to like taking the paper and just forcing it down their gullet. Uh, he can't do that with this kid. Yeah, he has to cut it up into small, tiny bites. Mm -hmm. You were present. Dip it in er, ketchup. You were at Global Studios on the day of the er, incident. What is up? I have no idea. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Grant with the beard over there? Just, Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer beard gentleman myself. A very long day. Incidentally, I, I love how he's like, I prefer bearded gentleman, instead of correcting that. Mm -hmm. Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <sighs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. Are you allowed to do that? No. I'd like special permission if that's possible. I guess if you get if you request special permission from the judge. 
Wait, so you're saying you had the bargain terms with a kid, and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. Cool, he accidentally recorded it. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You'd better make a note of it in the court record. Why are you telling me to make a court <sighs> There is a person that transcribes everything in the court. <laughs> Mia, you should be telling them to make a note of it. Has she Come won on. I, I'm assuming he. what she means is, uh, to, like, put it with the other evidence. Yeah, like, write a note about it, but, um, you know, the way she phrased it was dumb. It was. A new digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. Can I say something that actually bugs me about the anime? The sides are switched. Like, uh, I'll, I'll point in it out. In the anime? In the anime. In the anime. In the anime. In the anime. Very well, Cody. Yay, kisses. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court what you saw at the day of the incident. I saw murder. I'm seven. <laughs> I'm forked up for life. Why does he... <laughs> Why did he sound like like some old redneck at a pub? Because he saw murder. Dude, he's changed. He's no longer a seven-year-old. He is an old, wise man. I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I'm not doing that. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. Yeah, I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been time for a shot, I tell you. Damn it! Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, well, defense may begins cross examination. Be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. Alright, left bumper. Extra hard. <laughs> this kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. True. This kid. This good kid. We love this kid. Mia, you're up. We should really just have Mia do the questions. She's part of our defense team, technically. Here we go! You really like to steal Samurai, huh? Who doesn't? Steal Samurai is awesome. Of course I do! I taped every show. I've done that before with uh, certain shows. And I go all the live performances. I remember when I was in like middle school, I taped uh, every episode of a Power season. Rangers? Yes. Yeah. A season of Power Rangers and watched them through. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course, duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. <laughs> hey, uh, if I was this kid's father, I would, I would probably be going for myself, and the kid gets to come if he's lucky. <laughs> That's my that's my opinion on if if we ever go to uh, Super Mario World in Universal Japan, it's like I'm gonna go and if the kids are well behaved, they get to come with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> that that's what it is because I'm just a giant kid. Yeah. Was that was that day the first time you've been to the studio? If we go to Japan at all, it's it's for me. It, it's not for the kids. It, it, no, it's for me too. The kids I can go. suck my deck, okay? <laughs> They can Me. soak your deck. They can they can stay with their grandparents if they're naughty kids. This trip is for me. They will not ruin it. That's true. I like I did to my parents going to Disney World when all I wanted to do was stay in the hotel. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, hold oh, Okay, we're going to stop for a second. What is this story? Yeah, so my parents took me to Disney World when I was like seven. And it's boring because when you're seven, you're really impatient. And now I'm really impatient. Uh, and noticed. it was super hot, rainy, worst weather possible because, you know, Florida, um, America's armpit. And, uh, we had gone and there was, the hotel that we were staying at was just off the amusement park place thing. And we, uh, in the hotel there was like this super cool pool that had like dolphin slides and everything. And so naturally... Instead of waiting outside in long lines in the humidity and rain for hours on end to get to one ride without being able to eat food, I just wanted to be in the hotel swimming in the pool. So I threw a fit and wanted to stay in the hotel. Wow. Yeah. I made that trip a living nightmare for my parents. You selfish brat. Yeah. Well, it was a trip for me, right? But they didn't consider... 
that I didn't want to go. They're like, this is for you. We hate Disney stuff, because they do. And I was like, cool. I don't want to go, though. <laughs> See? I don't like people. I didn't like people in costumes. So, like, people, like, I they had, like, the chipmunks running around and all that stuff, and that, like, scared the ever-loving crap out of me. And my parents were like, you mean the no, mice? no, go say hi. No. <laughs> like, Chip. uh, Chip and Dale. Oh, right. And, uh, they were like, go say hi. And I was like, no. Oh. I wanna. Spooky. I think we went on like two rides, and one of them was horrifying. It was like, to seven year old me, the most horrifying ride at Disney World was the, the, uh, the Stitch one, where like Stitch escapes or whatever. Yeah. And uh, they like, they, it, it like spits water on you and stuff like that. It was just horrifying, because it was basically you're in blackness for the whole time. And back then I was super scared of the dark. So it was just like a nightmare. But then we went on a roller coaster, and that was fun. It was also a little bit scary, though. It was like the I, roller coaster that was by the big giant guitar. I don't know what it's called. I am like so annoyed with you because I've never even been to Disney World. I've I've never I've never even been. I've never been outside. Really been outside the Southwest. I've been to. Uh, I've been to a couple places. I've been I know, to. I want to take you. We didn't go to Universal Studios, and also this was way before Harry Potter stuff was there, and also before I ever read Harry Potter. But um. I want to take you to Universal Studios in Disney World when in you, Florida. When did you read Harry Potter? I read Harry Potter freshman year of high school. I read it when I, I did my first grade book report on it. Yeah, I know. I did my book reports on really big books like Harry Potter. I just didn't know of Harry Potter back then. Oh, okay. Because well, I was anyways, in a small town. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm very annoyed with you though, though now. Oh, I know. I was a terrible, terrible, terrible child. Um, but I mean, hey, they didn't ask if I wanted to go and I apparently didn't want to go. Yeah. They were just like, you'll like this probably. And I was like, ha, nightmare. Let I'm me a... stay in the pool. See, that's the thing. I was the kid who always asked my parents if we could go to Disneyland, which meant, always was met with a disappointing no. Yeah. Anyway, was, was that the, the first time you've been to the studio? We, we killed so much time there. Lots of time. Uh, actually, uh, actually, I've been a couple times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. Hit, hit. And that security yes. lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. We all understand. She's a bench. Yes. Chill, pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk to you cutting me off all the time? Funny reminder, he's calling uh, Edgeworth Pops. He's the same age as Phoenix. I just love that he's pulling out his katana who in the middle of a court. Who let him have that? Like, the camera I'm needs special I'm sure it's permission. fake. I know it's fake, but it's, like, definitely a toy. But, like, the fact that he's allowed to bring that in. Like, I think what really shocks me is this kid was allowed to come in, like, in street clothes. And she didn't have to wear a suit or anything. <clears throat> well, we all saw what Miss May was wearing, so. That's true. But let's face it, no one was going to object to that. Especially not me. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in the a valley there. If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. Hmm. I was going for the studio. Nothing unusual happened on your way to the studio? The dog has made my legs fall asleep. I'm sorry, buddy. Unusual? Do you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So we went straight to the studio. No. I got kind of lost in the way, though, for about 30 minutes. Yeah, lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Yeah, I was, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But, but guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai! Cool, did you notice the monkey? Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. And he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kind of tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kind of far away. Huh. It's being awfully vague. 
<sighs> Bless you. Thank you. Dot dot dot. Of course, the seal sound I took him down. Pow! Do we have a picture of the victim? No. Yeah. We do have his camera. I just wanted to see if I could show him a picture of the victim and be like, is this guy? What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well? Well, he kinda didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. No one tell him, 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 Edgeworth, Edgeworth, don't you dare! Yes, I suppose he was. If I had my camera with me, I would... If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I had to have it all the time. But you... Baka! Really? Baka jump. Do we need to switch controllers? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Like my tits. Yeah, gentle, was... but firm. She's dead now, I can make the jokes. <laughs> She's not in power, I own the office now. <laughs> yeah, I own the office and she is in Maya's body, I can make the jokes. I stole your desk. Yeah. Easy for you to say. Okay. All right. So uh, before I shove evidence down this kid's throat, we're gonna take a break. Yep. All right. We'll see you guys next time on Me in the Blind. Bye.